Welcome back all you fun cocktail fans. I am Steve the Barman. In today's video, I've got three awesome cocktails that you can make with your favorite raspberry vodka. Uh, and if you haven't got raspberry vodka, these will also work if you've got going to use a plain vodka and maybe muddle down some kind of raspberries or a raspberry liqueur, something like Chambord, something like Bottles or Giffard. They'll do the same sort of thing, but I'm going to showcase uh, raspberry vodka for you. So let's dive straight into the first cocktail. And I'm so excited to show you this one. This is amazing. It's kind of a little flip on a raspberry sour. A couple of little crazy ingredients here for you. Right, um, this is going to be a shaking cocktail. In this in this video, I'm going to be using uh, JJ Whitley's uh, raspberry vodka pretty much, I think maybe only UK only. It's the brand that I love because as I always say, if I want a product, if I want a raspberry product, a raspberry vodka, I just want it to pop a flavor. I don't want it to be subtle. I don't want it to be in the distance. And JJ for me, smash it with the whole range. You're not paying me to say that. I just absolutely love the whole range. It's super vibrant in taste. So let's crack on. Uh, let's get yeah, fresh measure. Uh, right, I'm going to do a 50 ml double bubble of raspberry vodka. Oh, just smell, just smells like raspberry juice. It's amazing. Right, 50 ml. I'm going in there. Uh, now, uh, second ingredient is going to be my lemon juice. So I just want 25 ml of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Typical sort of sour thing going on here. Now for the sugar element, this is where we start to get a little bit crazy and hopefully you really like this. Uh, I'm going for some Monin hibiscus uh, syrup. So I'm going for a kind of raspberry and a hibiscus sour, but there is one more crazy ingredient coming. Uh, so this is really delicious. Uh, 15 ml, one five of hibiscus syrup, half an ounce of there. Right, and then just to kind of balance it out even more uh, I'm going for I'm going to try and start using this a bit more because it is really nice Sue's it's like a bitter aperitif it's really bitter you don't need that much of it at all but I think it really helps kind of add a little bit of complexity but a, a little bit of kind of balancing flavors it's amazing now for this I'm just going for seven and a half mil a uh, quarter of an ounce not much more than that it's like gentian gentian roots Vibrant, I don't know if I could pour it high enough, I don't know whether you'll see it. It's like a vibrant yellow in colour. Kind of floral notes in there, but you do get the sort of bitterness comes through. It's lovely, it'll just work a treat in there. Now for the final ingredient, obviously sour, you would traditionally use egg whites and things like that. If you're new to my channel, I'm not going to give you the whole waffle too much, but it's the product that I love to shout about. Uh, miraculous Famous, there's loads of different versions of this uh, out there now. They're just egg white replacements. This little bottle was 160 egg whites, uh, vegan friendly, essentially. Uh, so that's kind of why we use them. So I just want about a third of a pipette in there. And that'll do the same as an egg white. Now, uh, I'm just gonna kind of dry shake this uh, to get the froth, to get the foam going. So hard, fast shake, about five or six seconds, get, that, get the froth going. There you go, you can see that's all there already. Now I'm just going to ice this up. Pull that back in there so you can see it. Just going to ice this up. And then going to shake it down again, 10, 12 seconds. Right. Pop your tin out. Right. This one, gonna double strain. I always flip it through that. Miraculous of jump cuts, washing up in between videos. It's still over there. Right, anyway, double strain. <laughs> double strain. So a single strain with the Hawthorne, double strain through the, the fine strainer. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Kind of a raspberry, hibiscus sour. And then to garnish for this one, I've still got some left over. You could even, I'm gonna rock these out in a couple of others. You could even go uh, like a little raspberry kebab there. But I've got a tiny little bit left of my blitzed up, blitzed up uh, freeze dried raspberries. So I'm just actually gonna do a little sprinkling of those on top. Just work perfectly. There we go. 
Lovely, jubbly. Right, that's cocktail number one done. Oh, the hibiscus. This stuff. With raspberry vodka. Oh my God, that's so good. Velvety smooth. Um, oh, That is delicious. Really, really love that. So that's cocktail number one. Right then, cocktail number two. Just pop that to one side. There we go. Right, cocktail number two. I'm gonna serve it up in my kind of stemmed highball spritz glass. Love this. Again, another shaken cocktail, this one. There's a couple of lovely ingredients in here as well. Right, this one, a 50 ml double bubble of raspberry vodka. And if you are, I haven't mentioned, but if you have, are using a plain vodka with a raspberry liqueur, I would probably go 50 ml of plain vodka and then maybe 15 ml of something like Bowles or Giffard or something like that. Chambord, I'm actually using this cocktail. Chambord's a bit more delicate in flavor than um, a kind of a rice, have I got? Yeah kind of a bit more delicate in flavour than a big vibrant sort of raspberry liqueur. So I think you just need a bit of 15 mil or something like that. Right, so uh, that's the first ingredient. Second ingredient, I'm gonna do the Chambord as I've just mentioned it. Kind of give it even more of a raspberry burst. This is a French black raspberry liqueur. I just want 15 mil, one five in there. There we go. Lovely. So it is, it is very much a raspberry liqueur, but it's just not quite a bang in the flavor of something like the bowls or the Giffards. So that's the second ingredient. Now, the third ingredient, uh, I'm going for this. Now, I appreciate there are other rose liqueurs available worldwide. I appreciate, and this is quite a strong one, 39% ABV, uh, so 78 proof. So it's quite a strong, it's not a liqueur in, in the kind of 18 to 22 sort of uh, ABV malarkey. This is absolutely delicious. Smells like liquid Turkish light. If you can't get that, I would recommend something like a rose syrup maybe uh, and kind of just balance it out with the sugar that's coming later. So maybe about 10, uh, kind of 10 mil of rose sugar. However, for this, as it's alcoholic and it's lovely, uh, I'm going for 15 mil of Laninc. Here we go. Now just going for some lemon juice. Uh, I just want 15 mil of a freshly squeezed, my last beer, I've got to squeeze some more now. Uh, 15 mil of uh, freshly squeezed lemon juice. And then for the sugar, um, because of the Chambord, because of the Lanique, uh, I've got nothing overly sweet in there at the moment, in the sense that, you know, I, mean, I know there's people gonna be thinking, God, what, how much, you've got loads of sweetness in there. There's a lot of alcohol in there as well. Uh, so you kind of need to dial that back down. So uh, for me, uh, I'm just going 10 mil. 10 mil, like a third of an ounce. Okay, if you don't want it, don't add the sugar in. It's completely and utterly up to you. Um, but maybe make it uh, without the sugar to start off with. Try it, think about it, and think, oh, actually, I do need a bit of sugar in there, and then add some sugar in there. If you add sugar at the start and you really don't want it, then you've kind of ruined the cocktail, but it's, it's a lot easier to sweeten up. So 10 mil, third of an ounce of sugar just to go in there and then there's one more ingredient coming after the shake obviously fizzy so i'm just going to ice this up now plenty of ice cubes and then we are just going for let's use this one let's use that one there we go right and then we're just going to shake down hard fast shake 10 12 seconds Right, pop your tin out. Lovely, jubbly. Right, the last ingredient is some Sprite or lemon and lime soda. And that's what I said, if you don't want the sugar, if you don't want that sweetness, if you think that's gonna be too much, you could use soda water, to be fair. I just, I've tried this, I like it. Uh, so I know what my palate wants for this. And I'm just going 50 mil of Sprite. Here we go just in there and I always pour it into the shaker to save pouring it and then stirring it once it's in the glass. Uh, if you're in a pub or bar, fresh ice. Uh, we've got loads of ice. Do that. Or I was gonna say, if you're at home, just shake and dump. Just use that ice straight in there, it's absolutely fine. So I'm just gonna single strain this. Oh yeah. Look 
to that. Perfect. And then just the garnish. Actually, that's what I was going to use for the second cocktail. There we go. Just going to garnish that with that. And I've got a sprig of mint here. Raspberry mint just works. There we go. So it's kind of for like a, a rose, raspberry and rose highball. Oh, oh, give me your name suggestions for all of these uh, cocktails in the comments below. I say, it's a thing, I keep forgetting to mention it because it's such a thing of my videos. Just name all the cocktails, uh, put them in the description below, in the comments below. That and that sugar, balance that is not overly sweet at all. I know some people think it will be, but I promise you it's really, really not because they are that strong. The Lanique, the vodka is strong. Uh, the Chambord is not an overly sweet compared to bowls. Chambord's what, 17 if I've got like 16 and a half. You know, they're not overly sweet things. So I think the sugar does work. Anyway, point of the video. Uh, just very quick shout out to my Patreons, my Legends community. Thank you so much for your love and support. We've now put up to a couple more in there for November. So we're now up to 12 of you at Legends. Thank you very, very much. There's new improvements and exciting things to come, uh, courtesy of a few of my Patreons that are kind of contributing and say, Steve, let's do this. So the way to get involved, download my free cocktail book, uh, which you'll see in the pinned comment on any one of my videos. Uh, the original perk was you got the free updated version and we're now up to 100 and God knows pages in it now. But uh, I'm starting to rock out exclusive content in the Patreon community. We are going to open a Facebook group, a Legends Club, uh, and just to get the chat because everyone's talking to each other in there and it's a little community building there. It's brilliant. So go, go and check it out. If it's for you, come and join us. It's a little, it's a tiny amount of money each month, but I just love helping and giving back. So go and check out my Patreon community. Right then, so the third. Oh God. Mm. That is amazing. Absolutely love that. I know which one Mummy Barman's going to pick. I think, I think I know. I've misjudged her palette quite a lot recently. Um, I think I think she's going to go for that one. Watch out at the end of the video with the little box that pops up. Right, the last one, kind of a famous cocktail, uh, but a little twist on it. So I'm going for a caipirinha. Now, uh, caipirinhas are obviously cachaca based, which is a Brazilian rum. If we if we transfer that over to vodka, we call it a caipirosca. Uh, but I've kind of got a little flip on here. So it's a uh, raspberry and a crazy ingredient in there. And I promise you, again, it will, will work. So uh, I'm going to make it straight in the glass. Um, I'm going to muddle some limes down. So make sure your glass is sturdy enough. This one will be, um, I'm not going to get overly aggressive with it. So it'll be absolutely fine. If you've got a delicate rocks glass or martini glass, then use a cocktail shaker to muddle down. So uh, the first ingredient I want is actually just half a lime. Uh, so I'm just going to pop that in there and I'm going to pop the lime into um, cubes essentially. So I'm, I've cut in half and I've cut in two quarters. So I've got four cubes of lime just in there. And then I want, let's pop that back to that side. Then I just want some sugar syrup. Uh, and again, for this, because there's a little sweeter uh, ingredient coming in a second, the liqueur, uh, I'm just going for 10 mil in here, a third of an ounce. Okay, 10 mil. Right, pop that in there. If you want a bit more sugar, it's absolutely fine. It's fine. Right, now I'm gonna take my muddler. I'm just gonna get all the juice out of the limes and the zest. And this is pretty much a standard thing with Kuiperinians and Kuiperoskas. It's the zest, it's the limey zestness that just makes the drink. So, uh, pushing down, cool, I do this on my cocktail masterclasses. When you're muddling, push down and twist. Don't do that. It's a standard pattern now for all my online cost cocktail masterclasses. Don't do that, you'll get lime juice in your eye and that freaking hurts, I promise you. So push down and twist. And this is why I said you need a sturdy uh, rocks glass for this. But that'll be fine, there we go. Right, we've got all that juice out, out of our limes. You see that, lovely. It's just fresh and oh, stick some, oh, stick some mint in there, you got a mojito, job done. Right, here we go. So. Very, very simple now to finish this off. I'm going 50 mil double bubble of my raspberry vodka. 50 mil, which is what? One and three quarter ounces-ish, give or take. And then the final ingredient, 
I really stumbled across this. I didn't think it would work, but apricot. I'm going for Giffard's Posh Apricot uh, Liqueur. Apricot brandy, whatever you want to call it. Uh, oh, just, oh, this is delicious. Uh, so we've got an apricot and raspberry kaiparoska. Again, names in the comments below. Uh, 15, one five, half an ounce in there. That's essentially it. Now, as with all true um, kaiparinias, kaiparoskas, some crushed ice kind of drink. So I'm just gonna add a bit of crushed ice in there. Not too much for a second. I'm just gonna, I need a different spoon. Uh, I'm just going to give this a little churn, just to kind of stir it around. <laughs> and top it up with crushed ice. <sighs> Lovely, jubbly. On the drugs and my crushed ice. Come on, did that perfectly. It's the last cocktail of the day. And there's my, my last raspberry. Little kebab going on there, little straw. Oh, apricot, raspberry. Again, I, I'd love to know why certain flavors work with, with, with the shit. I've just done a watermelon for the Drink Stuff channel. And again, I was saying, I don't get why tequila and watermelon just work so well, but it does. Oh, it's amazing, right? There we go. As I mentioned, Mummy Barman's will be uh, on screen now. Her favourite order. I'm, I'm guessing, I'm predicting that one. But I don't know. My, oh, I don't know. Crazy. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Comments below uh, with your name suggestions. Make sure you like, like and subscribe. And I will see you in the very next video.